Hey guys, even here, and in this video we got some interesting physique updates, we're gonna start with the press conference of Aro Classic Brazil, at which we got to see a preview of Guduito's physique and also Tonio Burton's, so it seems like it's gonna be a really tough battle for that second place, I don't see any of these guys really challenging Rafael Brandau, but uh, as far as Guduito right here, I mean, you know, he has really good legs, that's, that's for sure, but like I said in my previous video about him, he doesn't really seem like he's bringing, you know, some crazy level of conditioning. This does not look like him at 100%. Now, as far as Tony Burton, it looks like he is kind of bringing it, right? I mean, he looks, honestly, he looks bigger, fuller, rounder, and more conditioned. And the thing with Tony Burton is, you know, the problem with his physique is his size. He's a former 212 guy, he's a shorter bodybuilder, he's kind of like one of the smaller top IFBB pros, I mean, he's 8th in the Mr. Olympia after all, and look at his back, look at his freaking back, his back is just ridiculous. This guy is just overall very complete, and I would say kind of really filled out, you know, not the biggest frame, but his frame is packed with a ton of muscle, a lot of details, you know, a lot of density and thickness and, like, good conditioning as well. He seems ripped right here. He seems really lean and also really dense, you know, really full. So it seems like he's bringing, like, his best. And he could challenge Rafael Brandau. He could give him a run for his money. Tonio's best placement at the Mr. Olympia is 8th. And Rafael's is 10th. So officially based on that... Tonio is ranked higher, but that's the old Rafael Brandau, we still haven't seen the new version of Rafael at the Mr. Olympia, in my opinion, that version of Rafael Brandau is most likely, you know, top 6, top 7, battling against uh, Brandon Curry, Andrew Jack, and Hunter Labrada, Michal Crizio too, I think Rafael is in that second call out at the Mr. Olympia, and Tonio was in third, against guys like Regan Grimes and uh, Charles Griffin, but, you know, that's still last year, it actually looks like he made some solid progress, he just looks very much round, and at the back is just really dense, Raphael is kind of still a little bit flattish, you know, he doesn't have that bubbly round look like Tonio does, yeah, Tonio is shorter and he has a smaller frame, but, you know, it's gonna be an interesting comparison, now, as far as him versus Guduito, the thing I was kind of surprised by was the size of Guduito, I thought he was much bigger, actually, and the biggest criticism that Tonio Burton receives is that he is not big enough, like his frame is small, you know, he is kind of like the small guy at that top 10 of the Mr. Olympia, so I was expecting Good Rito to be at least like the same size, but he was kind of dwarfed by Tonio, I mean, Tonio looks bigger and fuller and rounder, wider even, I was not expecting this, I mean, let's wait and see these guys on stage, maybe it's gonna be different, but I don't think so, I don't think that's gonna be the case, it seems like Guduito is actually a much smaller bodybuilder than he seems when he stands alone in his photos. I also think it has a little bit to do with the way he's posing, he posted this photo also recently, like a day prior to this, and you can see how much he's bending, like how much he's bending his knees and at his hips as well, he really squats down quite a bit when he does a lot of his poses, so that probably has a lot to do with it, you know, posing so small. And once again, as far as his conditioning, I mean, like, it's okay, it looks decent, but he doesn't have, like, that fullness and hardness, his body fat percent kind of seems okay at that one area, we don't know what his back looks like, or his glutes, or his hamstrings, his quads, which are potentially his strongest body part, they do look pretty dry, but still, it's not the fullness, it's not the hardness that I wanted to see. And it does seem like Tonio is bringing it. In my opinion, he's gonna beat Guduito, I'm pretty sure about that. Is he gonna truly challenge Rafael Brandau? I think it's a possibility, but I don't think he's gonna beat him, especially at uh, Rafael's home turf. But, you know, we'll see about that tomorrow. You guys stay tuned, subscribe to this channel to see the best coverage of this show right here. Alright, next up is a physique update of Stefan Matala, and this one I'm really impressed by. So Patrick Tour posted this, uh, this collection of photos, and I gotta say, I envy Patrick so much right now. Yeah, I mean Stefan too, for his physique, but Patrick gets to coach 
a physique like this, he says, four weeks into prep, we have not even tried to push hard and made sure Stefan could train hard and heavy. So you get a physique like this after four weeks of dieting and that's as Patrick says without even pushing anything. So if he looks like this right now and he has ways to go before his show and he doesn't suffer to look like this, there is so much wiggle room, you can play around so much try out different things and basically you can't even go wrong really the only problem that could occur is the weight problem because you guys know the last time stefan competed it was really difficult for him to make the weight if you remember he tried to lift his toes up a little bit to make himself taller so he can make the weight but then also he was out of shape and this time around he's gonna be shredded with patrick tour for sure i just don't know how much muscle he actually added because he does look bigger then last year he looks much improved, so I guess that part, picking him for the show and making sure that he actually makes the weight, that can be difficult. That's probably gonna be very tricky, but Stefan with his shape, with his round muscle bellies, even if he is like really flat, I don't think he can look bad, you know? So I think this prep is gonna go really smoothly for these guys and uh, Stefan is gonna do really well. I believe he's gonna win a pro show, which he decides to do and he's gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia. I'm pretty sure about that. It's gonna be probably an easy qualification. The real question is how well will he do at the Mr. Olympia once he qualifies? Now, his biggest problem, muscularity-wise, was his back, which I think he improved. I think he made some solid progress to it, because this back doesn't look bad to me at all. And yeah, this is just back lat spread, that pose is not a part of classic physique, but look at back double as well. It looks good, it doesn't look bad. Like, his lats seemed like they were smaller and like high inserted, but now it seems like he added some tissue to them, and with his shape, with his small waist and like small joints and big arms, big shoulders, it just flows really well. So there is a huge, huge potential in this guy, and with Patrick Tour this year, I think he's going to achieve it, at least quite a bit of it. Alright, the next physique update is also very, very interesting, it's Martin Fitzwater, and this photo was posted by Stefan Kainz. His nickname on Instagram is, as you can see, Boss of Outlaw, it's the coach of... Uh, Urs Kletzinski and uh, Wesley Wissers, Nathan Diasha and some other great guys and one of the like popular coaches lately, like he's on his rise right now a lot of bodybuilders started hiring him and he's doing really well with them we just saw what Wesley Wissers looked like at the Arnold Classic that was as good of a peak as it gets and also Nathan Diasha looked very good at his shows and now we got Martin Fitzwater and I was wondering who was prepping Martin now I mean, last time he was prepped by Branch Warren, and that really worked out well for Martin, and now I wasn't sure, but now we can see, it's Stefan Kynes, and this gives me a lot of hope for this guy that he's going to actually nail the conditioning, and nail the peak for the Detroit Pro, so now that I saw this, that he's coached by Stefan Kynes, he is the favorite to win Detroit Pro. He is competing in two weeks, and this is what his conditioning is looking like right now. You know, he's lean, he's very shredded, I believe he's really flat right here, he looks like that, at least, and at two weeks out, his conditioning looks like he's pretty much done, he's shredded. I don't know about, like, his glutes or his hamstrings or his lower back, it could be his trouble area, but from the front, he looks done. I think he's good, I think he's basically done, I think he needs to cruise into the show, like, work on the details, on fullness, and stuff like that, but as far as condition, he looks really good. If he repeats what he brought to the Texas Pro or comes in a little bit improved, which is also a very big possibility, it's been like two years since the Texas Pro, if he's a little bit better with the same conditioning, yeah, I mean, who else is gonna beat him? I don't know if James Collins is doing the show, I don't see Goodwito beating Martin, but, you know, it's gonna be an interesting comparison for sure. As of right now, I think he is the favorite to win that show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Finally, we got a little physique update from Quint Beastwood or Quinton Raya, and this was posted by his coach Matt Jensen. And I gotta say, when I saw this photo, I was like, is this recent? Because the latest photos that Quint posted himself did not look this good. He wasn't in this kind of condition. Is he playing games? Is he posting old photos? Or is the lighting here just very good? I don't know, but he does look very, very impressive right here. I mean, this side chest is looking 
insane. And this guy reminds me a lot of Samson Dauda, because you guys remember Samson Dauda, he was competing for a few years without that much success, like he was struggling to win a pro show, to win like European shows that are definitely much smaller. And then he found Milos Arjev and he transformed into a top 3 Olympian. And Quint right here, he also looks like he has that sort of potential. He has those crazy muscle bellies, he's a tall guy, he's a really big guy, and there aren't many gaps in his physique, like sure his back could be a little bit better, but it will come up with time for sure, I think he's making solid progress everywhere, and this physique update, I'm not sure which show he's doing, people are saying he's doing New York Pro, I don't think he ever said it, he was asked so many times in a podcast, what show he's doing, he's not gonna tell, for some reason he's keeping it a secret, we don't know yet, it could be New York, it would make sense, based on his conditioning and when he started the prep and so on, just because Nick Walker is doing it, it doesn't mean that nobody else is gonna do it, I mean, I'm sure Quint would be really happy to go against Nick Walker to fight with him for that first spot, and then maybe win one of the later shows after New York, so, you know, it could make sense, what do you guys think about his physique right now? Do you think he's gonna win a pro show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia this year? And what do you think about his potential in the future? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section about whichever part of this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, like it. If you wanna see more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.